now entering Rich Reviews. everyone and welcome back to Ripped Reviews. This is Marcos and today we're going to be covering another big box launch box tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to create a custom startup video that's similar to like a game console. So you know like with the Xbox 360 you got the whatever. It's kind of like that. Um, it kind of gives that same simulation like you have a game console as a home theater PC. So it's really quick and simple. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we're just going to look at the intro that I have. Uh, you've probably seen it in other videos. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. So first thing you want to do is go to forums.launchboxapp.com. We're going to want to go to the download section. And then over on the right here, we have the big box startup videos. We want to go ahead and click on there. And here we have a vast library of all of them. Hollow button startup is mine, but let's go ahead and just go for the top one here. Now we want to go ahead and download this file. Since I have a 16 by nine display, I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. And we're going to go ahead and save into my big box mod folder. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this side by side with my LaunchBox folder. And we're gonna to want to go ahead and go to C users, whatever your username is, LaunchBox, and then videos. I'm gonna go ahead and rename my uh, current one to .old, so it's out of the way, but I still have it. And we'll go ahead and bring the other startup over. All right, now we just need to rename this to just startup.mp4. Um, it's as simple as that, really. So once we go ahead and rename that, uh, we'll be able to launch LaunchBox. Then we'll go ahead and launch a big box right after that. And then you should see the new animation here. Little GameCube animation. It's pretty cool. All right. And you'll notice that there was a delay, um, something that allows the video to run. So over here under Options, and under general, this is where you can change that uh, startup duration. So if you have a longer video, you can increase that. And then I believe you have to go all the way through and cycle through it to uh, get to a lower number. That's really it. It's really quick and simple, but it can add like more of a console feel to your uh, big box if you have like a home theater PC like what I'm building. So I hope this was informative for you and I hope you all have a good one.